Okay, it's uh, it's school time again. Somebody in the comments asked about how do you figure out a, a common rafter. And I know that's pretty easy for a lot of you, but we're gonna go over a little bit of that here. Okay, so first thing in Canada, we actually don't do, um, uh, we don't stick frame our roofs. We actually get trusses made for us. Um, basically two reasons for that. One is because of the snow load and the other is because it's a little bit faster. Now, um, the problem with that is because we get trusses made for us, we tend to, framers tend to not know as much about how to put a roof together. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this gable here. I thought this would be a good example. Now, our last house, our gable was built wrong and we uh, it caused a lot of trouble. But how do we know the gable was built wrong? Well, we know it by doing a little bit of math. Okay, so let's look at this gable here. This gable uh, and is sheeted for us here. Um, it's an 812 pitch, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out First of all, how high should that gable be? Where should the point be? Okay, so look at this here. We got 812, okay? Now, a lot of people see it written like this, but really 812 is actually just a fraction. Here you have your rise, right? And here you have your run, okay? So all we gotta do is figure out what our run is. Well, we know this, this gable goes on the end of the house and it's 20 feet long, okay? So the run for the pitch, right, for the peak is half of that, so that's 10 feet. Now, this is 812, so this is in inches, okay? So we have to keep the same um, dimensions. So we, have, we can't be in feet, we gotta be in inches as well. So what is 10 feet in inches? Well, it's 120, right? So just like basic math, what did we do? What you do to the bottom of the uh, of the fraction, you do to the top. So we multiplied this by 10, right? 12 times 10 equals 120. So all you do with the eight is eight times 10 equals 80. Okay, so if the run on an 812 pitch is, is 10 feet or 120 inches, the rise will be 80 inches. Okay, now, always remember you have your heel height. So what's the best way for the camera? Come and look at this heel over here. Come look at here. This is the heel right here. So you gotta add that. So this is three and a half inches. Okay, so that's three and a half inches. So this gable should be 80 inches plus three and a half inches. Let's give it a measure. So if I go right on the peak there, it's 83 and almost three quarters. So it's a little big, um, almost a quarter inch. So will that cause too much trouble? Not really. Now that's, people say in the comments as well, oh, why don't you just use a calculator? Well, it's good to know how to do the math and then do the calculator. So let's just do the calculator. So if we go um, here, we're gonna do, uh, what are we gonna do uh, to clear it? We're gonna go 10 foot, run we're going to do eight inch pitch and then we're going to do rise six foot eight so what's six foot eight again six foot eight is uh where are we at 80 inches exactly so then we add our heel 83 and a half okay so that's how you do that now how do you figure out the angle of your you know your the hypotenuse Okay, how do you figure that out? Well, the next video, we're gonna show you how to do it actually using math, and then we'll show you how to do it with a calculator.